Hey everyone! Gone are the days of spending hours on a single newsletter. Whether you're flying solo or have a team that's new to email marketing, I'm here to show you how to create and send a newsletter with the SiteGround email marketing tool in just 10 minutes. Joining us today is Simo, who has this awesome pottery business and is launching a new Christmas collection. Hey, awesome to be here. Let me just say that my business is entirely fictional, but let's roll with it. Simo's journey mirrors many of yours. He's got this awesome product, but is racing against the clock to sell it before the holiday bus winds down. Sound familiar? We were talking with him about the easiest and fastest way to promote his Christmas collection instead of just hoping that people will magically land on his website. We thought, why not email the people who've already bought from him? So today I'll show him how email marketing can help him promote his business and ultimately lead to more sales. So let's get started. We're in the SiteGround email marketing tool interface. To create your email campaign, all you need to do is click on new campaign and give it a name. In this case... How about new Christmas collection? Okay, new Christmas collection. This takes us straight to our user-friendly no-code builder. Now we need to choose the layout of the email. You'll see a collection of pre-designed layouts following best email practices. There is also an option to start from scratch, but I really like this layout, so let's use it. Great. Okay, Simo, let's start personalizing this template. First things first, we need to replace the placeholder text with your actual content. Let's begin with the main title in the body of the email. This is where we tell your readers what they're about to see. Any ideas for the headline? Let's say... New wing, Christmas pottery collection. Keeps it simple and to the point. I like that. New in Christmas pottery collection. There it's in. It has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? It does, but I noticed that there's some extra text just below the title. Can we get rid of that? I think it's unnecessary. Yes, you can just delete that. You can do all kinds of edits to your sections with ease. You can hide or show images and texts, toggle buttons on or off, add separators, switch up the image position, you name it. Now, when it comes to the main text, Simo, how are your writing skills? Honestly, writing isn't really my strong suit and I'm usually quite pressed for time. I prefer something quick and easy. That's okay, we'll use our AI writing assistant. Just click on the AI icon in the main toolbar. Tell me, what do you want the email to be about? Let's see, how about... Promote my new Christmas pottery collection exclusively for my clients. Keep it under a hundred words and add some emojis for a fun touch. For a fun touch. Okay, got it. Now we need to pick a tone for the AI to follow. We have options like promotional, professional, neutral or social media friendly. Given we're trying to boost sales, I'm thinking a promotional tone would do the work. Hit the generate and there we go. Our text is ready. Now let's focus on the button, the call to action. This is where we guide your readers on what to do next, the real purpose of your email. Simo, what should the button say? How about shop collection? Simple and straight to the point. Yes, that's perfect. Your call to action is one of the most important things in your email because it's the key player in turning your readers into customers. That's why I want to customize it a bit. When your CTA pops, people are way more likely to click it and more clicks that means more eyes on your awesome Christmas collection. So over in the design tab, I'll click on buttons and make our button rounded. And then back in the design tab, I'll click on colors to change its color to match your Christmas theme. Okay, and let's not forget to add a link. 
In this case, we'll guide the subscribers straight to your new Christmas collection. Next up is your product image. Do you have one ready for us? Yep, sending it over from my phone just now. Got it. So I simply hover over the image placeholder, click on upload, drag and drop the image, select and insert it. Awesome. Okay, so next I want to add all text to the image. It's essential for accessibility, ensuring everyone, including those using screen readers, can engage with your email. And to wrap it up, I'll link the image again to your Christmas collection. How does it look on your end? It looks spot on and it's great that we're making it accessible for everyone. Now let's move on to the subject line and preheader. Here we want something short and to the point. Any thoughts for the subject line? Maybe shop Christmas magic with our new collection. As a bit of a holiday spirit, don't you think? I love that. And for the preheader, which is something like a supporting text to the subject line, how about discover exclusive Christmas pottery crafted just for you. Okay, once that's settled, I'll do a quick test run of the email to make sure everything looks good. So simply I hit test and I'll send it to Simo. Let me take a look. Yes, everything looks awesome. It's really coming together. Now we need an audience who will receive your emails. Simo, you've got a list of clients who bought from you and show interest in hearing from you, right? Yes, all set and ready. Great, we'll start by importing those emails. We'll go to contacts and here we have an option to manually add subscribers, but Simo's already exported a CSV file with his client's details, so I want to import them all at once. We'll click on import and here we need to drag and drop our file and click continue. The next step is just to connect the right field of the CSV file to the database. So we have email, first name and last name. I click complete and we've already got our list. Now let's go back to our campaign and click send. We're sending the emails to all our subscribers. And for the last step, we have the option to set it immediately or schedule it for later. Since it was super quick and easy to create this email, we can choose to schedule it for, let's say, December 1st, 8 a.m. And that's it. Awesome, uh, but I have a question. Is there a way to avoid uploading my contacts list over and over again? Yes, see, I've already added a sign up form on your website. So the SiteGround email marketing tool comes with a lead generation plugin for WordPress that enables you to easily create and embed a sign up form on your website. You add it once and the subscribers automatically keep piling up in your contacts list. We will dedicate another video on collecting subscribers through your website, but briefly, here's what I did. In the email marketing dashboard, go to connect WordPress site and download our plugin. Now, in your WordPress admin, I've uploaded and activated the plugin. Back in the email dashboard, I generated a token to connect your email marketing account with the lead generation plugin. To create your form, I simply clicked on new form and for it, I chose to gather only emails and then I simply added it to your website. How about giving it a try yourself? Sure thing, let me walk through it. So I'm entering my details here and now I'll hit the subscribe button. It's pretty straightforward. And there you have it a brand new subscriber automatically added to your contacts. Awesome. Yes, awesome indeed. Email marketing, even in small doses, 
keeps you connected with your audience. Whether it's weekly, bi-weekly or monthly, sending emails keeps your brand top of mind. And you can do that easily with the SiteGround email marketing tool dedicating just 30 minutes a month. And don't worry if you don't have a big contacts list. 5, 10, 15 people is also a good starting point. Simu here had only 20 contacts, but here's the thing. By sending them this email, he knows that those people will find about his Christmas collection instead of just hoping that his past customers will magically remember him and check his website. So go ahead and give SiteGround email marketing a try. Thanks for watching and we wish you happy emailing!